Google's Android M does have split-screen multitasking support, uh, in a way. Apple shares how to avoid getting attacked by the SMS bug, and you can say goodbye to the 2K displays on Sony's Xperia's going forward. I'm Jaime Rivera, and if you have a problem with my Friday jokes, no problem, I could drink to that. This is Pocket Now Daily. And yes, as Google I.O. is on its way, Apple felt that it was time to make its official statement as to when WWDC will have its keynote. We already knew the dates, but the keynote is always ambiguous, and the company has just confirmed that it's happening on June 8th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. So you can bet that we will be covering everything live as it happens, and that is a very early event, by the way. And speaking of Apple, the company has already come clear as to how you can avoid the whole SMS bug issues, and uh, it does involve Siri. It's a full procedure that you have to follow in a way for Siri to play back messages and for you not to read them so that's a problem because uh, not everybody likes to use this feature but if you're interested or you want to avoid this problem links in the description will show you exactly what you need to do now sony has been doing the oddest product launches lately up to the point where we're still waiting for the xperia z4 everywhere else and uh, in that case, the company has come clear as to the fact that specs aren't really going to change much for Xperia's going forward. Apparently, 2K displays are not happening because the company has a hard time proving to customers that there's a benefit on a 2K display. It does make sense. 1080p displays are good enough in pixel density. Uh, but that being said, at least we have the good news that Xperia's will continue to exist, as that was another concern that was happening. Now, news that didn't necessarily wow us yesterday was Android Pay, mainly because Google Wallet never took off and, well, this is just the revamp, or so we thought. It seems that Android Pay is actually going to be a completely separate thing, as uh, Google's uh, wallet team has just teased that there will be an update to the Google Wallet application going forward that will work on iOS and Android. iOS and Android, yes, I said that. Uh, so, yeah, it seems that there is uh, more to come from Google Wallet. We just wonder exactly why. Well, we're going to have two defunct products being launched out there. And finally, for the very hot news of the day, if you were waiting for split-screen multitasking on Android M, it turns out that it does exist in a way. There is a way to actually activate it in the bug tools. Obviously, you need code and you need so many things, and this is only available in the developer preview. And it could be for a reason. It could be that it's just being tested or whatever. But uh, as it turns out, it is just so buggy that we kind of understand why Google didn't build it into its launch of Android M, or at least in the teasers and in the announcements. And it does lead me to the question of the day. Uh, would you want split-screen multitasking on your current device? Because in my case, it's one of the main reasons why I stick to Galaxy phablets. But leave us a comment down below. We'd love to hear what you think. Friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video was filmed, make sure you follow us on Paganow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next week.